Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online! Cracklawn! Yeah, that's where we are. We are inside of Molavar, where we... Ah, uh, you might remember, this is the chamber that, like, if you looked, we, we went here, there's a uh, bone giant shuffling about here. If we went, like, I saw this door and was like, yeah, that looks like a quest down the line. And, like, I actually thought that the Flame Monarch was up here. Because there was some sort of boss entity up here. That was not that was not the flame monarch. This is the flame monarch. Now, I'm really pleased with this. It's a small contained room. This is not a group quest. And it's not overflowing with players here. So all in all, it's a perfect setup for a fight. Now, is my ill my Experiments booster on. It is. Okay. Uh, and my stat booster is on because I just put it on as before I went inside Molovar. So what we're going to do this episode is... I'm going to first off defeat the Flame Monarch. Then, in the same video, I'm going to... So there will be a lot of cuts in this. It'll be a little longer. Um... I will then make it to the Storm Monarch and the Frost Monarch. Now that does mean that we are heading into those two areas. And as they are undiscovered locations, we might as well finish those locations as we're there. So it's going to be a bit of a long episode. But that's... I mean, that's just how it is. Right, let's get this fight started. So first, we can do... Put some damage up over time on you. Okay. So far, as long as you don't start spawning minions, I am... I said as long as you don't... Ah, go away. Alright. Are you going to spawn more minions, or is that just... Is that just one? Because if it's just one that I missed somehow, that's fair. That's on me. That's acceptable. Oh, another player! Alright, well. There's a person. Ah, so it does continue and spawn. Defeat the Flame Matriarch. Ooh, Ancestor Silk Epaulets. Those are quite nice. I mean, I don't need them per se, but. Really? Nothing to do with these old stones? Alright. Fair enough. Well, other than it's the quest line in general. Hmm, Bone Colossus. Yes, that's what they're called. Alright, well, we have a friend. A level 40 friend. Why going to crack on it at the first, first choice? That's a weird one. Oh well, makes the fight easier for me. And doesn't skimp on... Wait. This imp is not supposedly dead. Well, I'm just gonna run back out. I've already... Yeah, sorry friend. Uh, I'd love to help you, but... That's not the quest that I'm on, and it seems maybe you aren't. On, you are on this quest as well. Well, I'm not really going to be. I'm not really keen on following people, unless they're clearing the way for me, and it's a place that's too hard. Then, yeah, I am keen on doing that. All right, so that was the first one. Now this took exactly four and a half minutes. Maybe a little less with the intro cut, but. Yeah, that's 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 about the uh, that's about the length of that. Still though, unless the other two are really long, then like they, I presume they are basic delves. So we're gonna go and find those. Hmm, he apparently loaded out quicker than me, but I'm in no rush. All right, I will meet you at the lair of. 
the Storm Monarch. And here we are outside of the Storm Matriarch, the Storm Monarch's um, hall. And now, you know, you'll notice this is neither a delve or anything else. So this is just a little chamber, which could suggest that it's just a small, a singular small room. Well, not singular, but at least small-ish in its size. Hmm. Are there minions or other ne'er-do-wells to defeat? Uh, does not look like it, only the signs of battle. Lightning Imp? What's that? that doesn't sound nice. I saw the bookshelves and treasure. Is this the way out or no? No, it isn't. Well, I guess he just finished here. That's good. Then there's no one to run interference. Simmer Mira Pharos. Gesundheit. Hello. I'm gonna beat you. What? Kill 15 enemies. I, I mean, I, I, I... Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I don't remember killing 15 enemies, but... Oh, wait, is it those little fellas? Did I kill one of those by accident? Hmm. Maybe Flappy did it, but... That does seem weird. But this guy's a lot weaker than the other one. Sure, we're on a quest anyway. Can I? Nope, it's not interactable. Is so there is no treasure here. Just you know, a fight, the post-battle experience that was from that. All right. Well, in that case, this might be a short video. Um, but seeing as I didn't talk on the way here. Because, you know, I expected to cut it out. How does it look to the next one? Hmm. Well. Looking at the map tells me that there shouldn't be some sort of ledge or other impassable terrain. Which means that we can go and discover these two. And get the experience for doing so. And like this is that this is the same recording as la as last time. Um, I have spent maybe ten minutes, yeah, eleven minutes so thus far, according to my uh, to Audacity, my audio recording software. So, I th th hmm. strange, but I'm not complaining. Definitely not. I mean, it would be nice if things were a little more stringent and straightforward but again I'm not complaining so what I'm gonna do seeing as how short that was is that I want to keep talking so we're not cutting this we're basically just exploring now uh, not getting too close to any of the wasps don't need that right now or later for that matter see see unlike normal uh, challenge areas. These one you have to activate. Well, you have to attack it to actually do anything with it. So, in that regard, it's actually nice because you can discover it without getting killed. And Balamath. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. I also obtained uh, between episodes a Hmm, it's up there, isn't it? A uh, skill point from achieving uh, Alliance War points through the um, through the monthly login challenges. So I basically log in every day, if possible. I am sometimes I miss it, but it's not often. Um, 
to get various rewards. Some of the rewards are very stackable, like uh, experience booster scrolls or uh, stat booster meals or something like that, like crown fortifying meals. What are you guys? Iron Orc. Yeah, I don't need to get into those. Also because that is a, a group area, which means that I would get my ass handed to me. If I were to try and... What? You wanna go? Is that it? Nah, you don't. Ooh, cool dog. Looks, uh, looks Nordic. Frost more. Oh, yeah, well, th then that, that kind of makes sense then. Okie dokie. What are we looking at here? Okay. Treasure? Yes! Treasure? Ooh, lots of lockpicks. Three already. Hmm. Book stack? Ooh, oh, it's okay. The book stacks can also. Well, this is the first time I've seen singular open books that aren't highlighted being um, searchable. Hmm. The runes are clearly Nordic, but... Nomeg Aza Ozal. Oh. He's just legs. Right, can you uh, ref reform? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Right, well, I don't expect you to be much tougher than the others. Perhaps a bit more tanky, but not a whole lot more tough. And you got a minion. Of course you do. Would technically get something from defeating it, but I mean, really, well, who cares? Do you even have any ranged attacks? I mean, the others were partially ranged. You, I'm not so sure. Find Kelman Lock at the ritual site. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. So, any treasure behind you? Oh, it was n just barely not enough for a. Oh, it was enough for a uh, for a champion point. Well, hooray! I will take that then. And books that I've read before. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. That, 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 that was 16 minutes, 20 seconds. I, I know that the, the group part is meant to be challenging, but I didn't expect the single person part to be this easy. Hmm. Well, I also kind of suspect that, suspected wrongly that uh, this would be like, like the three layers would be inside of dells because i'd seen one of them in a dell so yeah i was a little puzzled so where are we going we are going uh, okay in, on the edges of elhinir okay i i suppose we can do that I did discover the way shrine, but I mean, it's like for what, despite what it looks like, Cracklawn, distance wise, not that big. Hmm. Is there treasure in a. No, just water. Oh, and treasure! Well then. 
Even simple treasure is treasure for me. And we have restocked on lockpicks. I was down at 207 before. So entering that last tomb was really nice. Ah, uh, sure. I haven't really seen a crafting station. Now I would like to get the experience for discovering Inazua's hold, but ugh. if I can do so without getting into into a scrap, that would be very very nice. Oh, like this, and we don't want to do anything with that. Good. All right, mission accomplished. And now we just have to head in this direction to head to Elhinia. Doesn't seem too bad. In fact, I'd say it's rather pleasant. All things considered... What's this? Flesh flash. No. No, I think not. I do not need those. Or... This looks like a path. Well, it isn't. But the heart of an explorer lusts for that which is undiscovered. And for looking past waterfalls where there, there probably should be treasure, but likely isn't. I've learned, I, I, just because I know what the lesson is does not mean that I accept what the lesson is trying to teach me. Hmm. A nice little jog along the shore. Quiet, you. I am working here. Is it over yonder? No, that's a trial. Not going anywhere near that. Not only is it a trial, it's a group trial. Ugh. Could there be treasure down there, though? Hmm. Hmm. This is Duema Ruins. Yeah, we're not going up here. That's, that's, that's not, that's. I know my limits. I've tried a regular trial and that was difficult. I've tried group areas and those are difficult. So a group trial. No, no thank you. No thank you. The trial back in elsewhere was bad enough. Well. Uh, it probably wasn't bad, but it definitely is not designed for a single person to try and attempt it. At least, not a single person who isn't power gaming, and I'm certainly not power gaming. If I am, it's by accident, and that is quite different. <laughs> hmm, crafting stations would be fairly nice. I would really like that, actually. A grocer? Oh, well, that's a shop. That's can get rid of some of my careful trash so that's actually good uh, yeah, again deconstruct those two steps back what were you saying about being careful Well, it looks like the city have been hit pretty hard by something. It does seem like that the quest for Elhinia, Elhinia is, uh, is a group thing though. So yeah, no, probably not gonna touch that. I have discovered the city because way back in Molovar, uh, the cliffs here near near the near the lake and the river actually were close enough to be considered inside the zone of Elhinia. 
So, that's nice. The ritual side? Here, down here maybe? Or up? Yeah, it's up. Hmm, okay. Well, we shall go up then. Spent the last... I don't know. Still no crafting stations though. Private what? Glondig. Cracklon soldier. Can I even get up here? No, it seems I cannot. Well, we shall go down and around to go up then. You never learn if you don't go the wrong way. That's not my motto, but it could be. Because I do like exploring. Because exploring pays off. It gives secrets and... Ooh. Okay. Um, came and lock. Use the gem on each stone focus to summon the Atronox. Uh, do I have to fight them again? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mind that. That's... Extra experience, plus they might give specialized loot, but... Alright, uh... Hmm... Ah, uh, it's probably not of any meaningful... It's not probably not meaningful enough for me to, to warrant a dice roll for this, even though I want to. So, let's just go from the left. Focus! Become a Ford. Oh. oh! You are not hostile. Okay, so I just have to summon them. I hope I do not have to fight them all three at once. I mean, that is that is doable, but that's gonna be a... You are not a our master. Bit. We do not serve yeah, mortal yeah. flesh. Who do you serve? The mage. She created us. Imbued us with thought. But she has fallen. Corrupted by the serpent who crawls on his belly. You mean the celestial mage? The serpent controls the mage? How is that possible? Trickery. Deceit. And once he controlled her, he turned her power against us and enslaved us. Why go to all this trouble? Because that is what the serpent does. He has used the mage to create a new monarch. One with all of our powers. One made of pure air. Where can we find this new monarch? We do not know. All we remember is a name. Balamath. Oh. Balamath? I know that place. It's an alien... Well, that... Uh, thank you. You are dismissed. Defeat the serpent's abomination. Defeat the monarch of air. And we will tell our master of your kindness. Isn't your master... Okay, well, I, I mean, didn't you just say that your master had fallen? Um, okay, this well, is never very mind. bad news. The serpent used the monarchs and their power to create a new Atronach, one with the ability to take on the elements of other Atronachs. How did he do that? I'm not one to speculate on the powers of the Celestials, but it seems he manipulated the mage somehow. That's not in our power to correct at the moment, but we can try to find this new Atronach, an air Atronach, the monarchs called it. Do we bind no, it? No, binding won't work. The air monarch was created <coughs> from the power of three monarchs. It's too powerful, it must be destroyed. The monarch said that it could be found in a place called Balamath. I recognize the name, it's an alien ruin. I'll find and defeat the air at Well, good luck with that. As for me, I think I'll keep my distance. I've had more than enough excitement in recent weeks, thank you very much. Goodbye. All right, well, in the next episode, we will be heading into Balamoth to defeat the air monarch. But until then, take care.